Joining me all the way from Tamil Nadu is Grandmaster P. Inyan. Hello, Inyan. Hi, Sakar. Inyan, uh, wonderful to see you. And also today we are going to discuss about a video course that you recently made for chess base. It's on the Queen's Gambit declined with four Bishop G5. Yeah. What inspired you to make this course? Mm. I have been playing uh, one D4 from my childhood. Uh, I play E4 as well, but D4 has been my main uh, repertoire. And uh, Chigiri is one of the most solidest uh, variation that Black has. Uh, there are there have been a lot of courses from Black's point of view, like uh, Ninja and Dian, Queen's Gambit Decline, Kings and whatever. But from White's point of view, any course on D4 is there is very few courses like that. And uh, and as I was preparing with Whitehead against the Queen's Camp, declined. I noticed that there is very less uh, data there uh, to study from. So I thought, why not make one myself? Since I've been playing this for a while. This is so exciting because, you know, I myself was a D4 player. And I know that when someone faces D4, uh, sorry, faces mm -hmm. the responses to D4, Queen's Gambit declined is slowly and steadily becoming the most solid opening out there for Black. So yes. this will be a very interesting weapon that will be at their disposal. Should we should we go to the board? Yeah, we can. Okay. So we this is the uh, board on which we are going to analyze. And in the end, the moves uh, begin with d4. Oh, d5. D5. You can also D4. start with knight f6, right? Yes, but then it's not the traditional uh, QGD mode. Hmm. We can uh, get some other options for white as well after this. So just to be clear, the move order that you are recommending is this e6, knight c3, knight c3, knight f6, knight f6, and bishop g5. So when I uh, when I was asked to make a course and then I decided on QGD um, with the uh, bishop g5 system, then I was also thinking that what if black uh, does other moves than knight f6 because they are viable options for black. And mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be like uh, just focused on three knight f6. So anything after e6 and knight c3, basically the starting point of things can be defined as covered. So that includes like triangle slav like c6 here or tarash defense. Uh -huh. So this also you've covered. Yes. You've covered c6 bishop e7, covered. c6, yes. a6, h6, wow. and a6. Oh, and h6 also all of these are becoming yes. uh, like they are being Very played. Popular, this one. Yes, they are yes. being played. So, so if let's say someone goes through this move order d4 knight f6 yeah. c4 e6, c4, e6. Mm -hmm. and then if you go knight c3 they will most likely play the nimzo yeah, bishop, yes, ninja. but if they play d5 they d5, transpose into bishops. your what you suggest but yes. if imagine you play knight f3 d5 mm -hmm. is it possible to mm -hmm. go into your lines it is possible sometimes it transposes but not always because, for instance, you play knight c3 here. Yes. And then black doesn't necessarily have to play bishop e7, but he can play d takes e4, which will be the Vienna, or uh, bishop uh, b4 will be the Ragozin. Yes. Or c5, the semi tarash So, a lot of different options arise for black. But if he plays bishop e7, then we yeah, are bishop in your, uh, yes. your, what you suggest. Course. Your yes. course. Okay, brilliant. So, that takes care of some move orders there. Uh, yeah. Knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5, and here we start with the main move. Main move is bishop e7. Hmm. Uh, after once black plays knight f6, uh, there are uh, a few uh, main options for black openings, which are uh, either the orthodox classical, the Tata cover defense, the Cambridge Springs variation, the last player defense, and other than that, there are some side options for black. Uh, if black wants to play the Cambridge Springs variation, which is kind of completely different from other variations, he starts with either c6 or nbd7. Hmm. So, so after nbd7, yes, you play e3. Very important, yes, not to fall for this Not to fall trap. for the trap, yes. So, uh, I have fallen for it once in the important really? uh, blitz game. Yeah, it was a blitz championship. It was an Asian blitz championship. Wow. And you were a strong player back main, then. It, I was 2100 okay. back then. But then I took on d5. I was like, I couldn't believe. And then you took that. And then bishop d8, bishop d4. Chapter. 
<laughs> you know, I was luckier than you that I made this mistake in one of my first tournaments. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I I didn't have to face it at a very crucial event. But okay, you did it in a blitz game, so it's excusable there. Yes. Uh, E3 so, is better. E3 we play, and then C6. Mm-hmm. Knight of three. Yeah. And queen a5. This is the starting point of the Cambridge King variation. If black played bishop e7 instead, you would transpose into the main line we will see later. Okay. So queen a5, the point being that black has taken out the pin from the knight on f6 and is immediately going to play knight e4 and uh, threaten the knight on c3 and the bishop on g5. Yes. Traditionally, the main move for white has been knight d2 here. And there are also other options, but the move that I suggest is CD5, which is becoming more and more popular these days. Uh huh. CD5, and I think they CD5. take with the knight, if I'm not knight, mistaken. Yes. CD5 is possible, but not so strong. And knight e4 looks tempting, but it doesn't work as well. So knight e4, you just take on e6, and then you pull the bishop f6, and then bishop h4. And then basically, y has a kind of position. Uh-huh. So, so if it takes this. takes takes and then knight it just block. Uh, just winning for white. Okay. So here. So the main move will be knight takes b5 for black. Uh huh. And then you defend it with rook c1. And there are a lot of different ways for black to play bishop b4 or knight c3. Uh, in this line, white gambits a pawn. Uh, after bishop b4, for instance, we play a3, and then uh, bishop takes c3, pawn takes c3, and then queen takes c3. But we have a lot of combination. We play queen d2, and then we will have the bishop pair. We have the center point hole, and then we will have the positions like this. Right. So this is something which you recommend against the Cambridge Springs line, uh, yes. and it's also very much to your style to play sort of aggressive. Play, yes. A little bit in the gambit style yeah. you like to play. Okay. The thing about QGD is it's very solid, completely solid, uh, which is why it's played by everyone. Um, I think almost all the world championship matches have had at least some QGD yes. in it, especially the old, in olden times. Captain Talekin had at least one third of the games in QGD with both players playing with the bottom blank. So it is, of course, a very solid opening, and we try to uh, take some complications when we can. Mm. Okay, so Bishop G5, uh, we, we looked at Knight D7 here. Yes, there is and also. So we can go. Mm -hmm. C6 is possible, yeah. but uh, C6, E3 will most probably transpose. There is a lot of transpositions in the QGD. In the QGD. Yeah. And... So let's go with uh, Bishop E7 now. Okay, okay. yeah, it look, it's the most common way to play. Most common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. E3. E3. And then Castle. Yeah. Knight of C3. At any point, if black played at six, we go bishop x3, even on the previous moves. We just go back. We, we never take on f6. We, we don't take on f6 unless uh, in one specific circumstance, which will be the Tata probably. Okay. So here... There is one variation. Uh, I mean, this is what like a... is happening here? And can you tell us, like, in general strategy before going into the moves? Black has mm -hmm. castled, uh, maybe his bishop is not so great. What is going on? Yeah. So, uh, white has a bit more space, but the main difference comes down uh, to two factors. One is the space and then the difference in the placement of bishop. Mm. So, we have a bishop outside the pawn chain and black bishop is on c8, which is a real uh, headache for black. Uh, before uh, he's able to develop it, he will suffer a bit. So uh, black can try to develop it on the uh, b7 a to h1 diagonal, which would be the part of our system. Or else he can do a lot of uh, maneuvering around bishop b7 c6, bishop b7 a later on. But it, it will be a bit difficult for black to develop. And uh, uh, an important difference again is that any kind of an engine is going to be slightly pleasant for like because of the um, placement of the pawns. Even if you take out the bishop on h4 and e7, which is very common, which happens often by knight e4, let's say, which is a factor for defense, without getting into the moves. After taking off the exchanging of the dark squared bishop, you will see that white pawn is on d4, black pawn is on d5, which uh, 
which is a very which is very good for white because in the end game the bishop on uh, f1 will be able to act more freely than black and be able to attack pawn on d5 but uh, black cannot attack on d5. Mm -hmm. Small small differences, but uh, that gives white uh, the more pleasant position. Okay, got it. And also that uh, if you see black. Uh, will be trying to create some kind of a break in the position to get out of white space advantage if you go back a few minutes. Yeah, this position. Uh, black will try to either get a C5 break, which is like the most common idea, not in this particular point, but at some point. Or else he has to go for uh, B6, BB7, and then C5. But at some point, he will try to go for C5, either directly or uh, by some kind of figures. And when he does that, he will have a lot more weakness in the position. And look uh, at this position, for instance, c5 will not be much possible because he just takes on c5. And the bishop on x4 plays a huge role by creating pressure on the d5 pawn by removing the knight on c4. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you mentioned that if c5, then there is always pressure on the d5 point. Yes. So c5 right now is not uh, very possible. Black has to try to prepare it. And... Uh, that is where the variations branch out. There are like four or five different ways to play this position for black. The main ones being the Tatakor defense, Lasker defense, and Orthodox classical. So um, I, if I, Lasker if I, will be 94. 94 is Lasker. And you know, when I was growing up, yeah. uh, Tej Kumar, who is a very uh, strong GM, uh, who yeah. played very well back in the day, now he plays less, uh, used mm -hmm. to always play this. Mm -hmm. And okay. I thought it was quite a sort of very solid way to play as black, but not mm -hmm. a very ambitious way. But he used to score some good wins with black pieces. I see. What is it's your not take? A weapon to win. Lasker is a weapon to make a draw. Mm. Uh, black is being very clear. Uh, black is just trying to exchange some pieces because he has very less space. What he's trying to do next is he will exchange the knight on c3. Then yeah. he will exchange the pawn on c4 at some point. Then he will try to play c5 and exchange the pawn on d4. Basically, simplify every single thing. That's so, something possible. like this? Yes, knight c3, queen c3. And then we can continue playing this position. Uh, white at some point had like uh, different funky ideas like g4 or h4 before. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it's like a one game try which I did not want to recommend for like a course. Long so here you Actually, have recommended played... uh, something for for white for white Let's yes some ideas yes normal is bishop d play a normal position if you look at the position white has a better bishop than black black yes. will find it a bit difficult to get it out and we can play long long term chess uh there is one uh, one game that i played recently in chess open which uh, i played against him in the and i won a very good game wow uh, okay position. It's covered in the in the course. Uh, I played uh, I played this game after the after course. the course. I, oh, I the brilliant, course, yeah. brilliant. Okay. Actually, after I did this course, I got a lot of QGDs and I got a lot of uh, good wins. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, that generally happens if someone works uh, seriously on their uh, material, whether whether it's a book or video course, then they start yeah. to score well because then they have put in the effort. Yes. Yes. I did a lot of work for this course, uh, covering everything, and, uh, and I just you know everything. everything so Beautiful. So B six is, B6. I think the they call it the Tartako or Makogono yes. uh, Bondarevsky, Bondarevsky vari Bondarevsky. variation. It's a long name, but uh, generally it's called the Tartako system. Um, it's a very solid and one of the most uh, uh, correct lines. Black's idea is very simple. He's just gonna develop his bishop on B seven. And then if possible, he will take on C4, opening up the diagonal. If not, it's fine. If Y takes on D5 first, he's just going to kick back. And then he will push C5. Right. And then he will play a normal uh, position. So here... Uh, there is this famous I game, you know, yeah. in this, by the way, Indian, um, of Fisher's Pasky. Uh, game number six, which continued here. Uh, and I would recommend yeah. all the people to check this out. A very famous game where Fisher completely crushed Spassky. Uh, so yes. you you decided that in this it's time to go into new territory. Yeah, not new territory, but uh, two different systems will be uh, better uh, rather than just one because it's not easy to play against the Tata system. So 
the two moves are one is bishop e2 which is like to normal move okay which is normal move and the other is queen b3 queen b3 mm hmm it's one of the older systems but uh, it's very uh, it's very good um black will be trying to defend with bishop b7 right now yes and then you take on uh, f6 this is one place where you take on aha uh -huh. take black takes with take, the bishop i believe and then you will you take, take on d5 yes. yes and after black takes e d5 you play rook d1 d1 oh yes. let point me point being black yeah let me guess yeah indian you of course know the point uh, if i want to know if i am right to stop c5 so that there is pressure on d5 pressure yes exactly mm -hmm. c5 is not possible and uh, black has to do a lot of maneuvering around to get to c5 and in the meantime we will be able to get a good position we will continue with bishop b2 and then castle and then we will have a second position and then do we do we aim for like 95 f4 ideas do we then shift our rook to c1 how does yes uh, so there are two uh, further plans for white in this position one will be bishop d3 bishop b1 queen c2 attacking like that oh beautiful uh -huh. and uh, black would often black bishop on f6 is completely misplaced he can try to put uh, bishop e7 b6 and knight b7 f6 but in the time he does that we can get knight e5 and f6 Hmm. Also, at some point, if Black closes the diagonal with c6, because you know you cannot play knight d7 right now, d5 will be handy. So if he does that, then at some point you'll have e4 to so open up the position. Ah, yes. So sometimes in such structures, after yeah, and then you castle and then you play e4. If you if just for example, e4 might well become a very strong idea in such positions. Yes, yes, yes. Black will find it difficult to defend with c5. Got it. Beautiful. Okay. This is the uh, this is one line that I really like. The other one is bishop e two. It's quite like just simple move. Bishop e two or bishop b three. Um, you just play normal moves. You develop and then next move you castle. When black takes on c four, you take back with the bishop. You put your rook on c one, move the queen, and then you put the other rook on d one. Just slow and like this. Yes, like this, and then rook on d one. And and these positions generally, don't you think they are like kind of equalish? It's not exactly equalish. White is definitely slightly better. The problem for black would become how to place his pieces, especially if queen on d8 will come under fire. So the moment I put rook d1, there is always active on the on the five, and black queen doesn't exactly have squares to do. Hmm. Okay. Get it. I think this is very. Interesting. What what you suggest, and uh, there could be some good games to look at here, right? In the in such uh, yes. positions, I I guess yes. I, if I look already at the database, I can see games by very strong players like Salem, mm -hmm. Yusupov, yeah. and so on. Okay. Yeah, a lot of games. So this is the Tata Power system. But uh, QGD all started with uh, something called the Orthodox Classical System, which, which was uh, with C six. C six yes. It could come uh, uh, without the move H six. So we'll start without H six. So we can transfer when we want to. We'll play C six. Rook C one. Okay. And Knight B D seven. Uh huh. It could also start with Knight B D seven. And then we play Bishop D. Bishop D three. Also, we could do the waiting game. We can play A three. We can play move like that. So basic point is Black is trying to delay D takes C four as long as White is not playing Bishop D. This uh, position idea. A three is possible, but Bishop D two is quite good at this point already. So let's go with Bishop D. So now that White has spent a tempo, I think it makes sense for Black to take. Black to take, yes, exactly. Uh, and then we take on uh, C four and B five, Bishop D three. Ah, uh, sorry, Bishop D three, Bishop B seven, and then Bishop B seven, and then we pass it. And Black's idea mainly is to go a6 and c5. And c5. And uh, okay, there are a lot of models here. Uh, I cannot just uh, show every single thing right now. But if you show every general, single thing, then no one uh, will. It will become the course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we then have the course here. But yeah, if if there is one thing you want to just sort of emphasize here. Yes. So when Black goes for a6, generally speaking, we try to go for a6. We go. We go to. A4. A4. Aha. Uh -huh, yes. To stop C5 because B5 would hang. Yes. And in uh, these kind of positions, I notice that computers often show 0.0. .0 often by going for C5 still, 
I, I'm not sure if in this exact position, but in similar position, goes for c5, gives up the pawn on d5, and then uh, gets white an isolated pawn on d4. And the computer holds. But for a practical game, a pawn is a pawn, and we can keep playing for a long time. And so, so let's say, imagine game. just for the sake of argument, here, yes. here, 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 yes. engines yes. many times say this is equal. Yes, very close to equal. But it's not uh, true in, uh, in when you're playing a game. Got it. Because humans cannot defend this kind of position. And what about uh, such a moment where black can go like B4? B4? Yeah. yeah. So if black goes for B4, in this particular position, I think you already have knight e4. Yes, knight e4. And then Directly. can we go c5? Uh, right now, direct c5 may not work. Yes, because... Yes. There c5, is... then you take on f6, and then you take on c5. Yes, so it let's might say... I... Work. Uh, computer... Okay. Knight e4. Let's go knight e4. Yeah, take, take. And then bishop e7. No, no, no. This oh, will lose a piece. I'm sorry, sorry. I was just... Uh, I was too fixated on stopping c5. I forgot about my piece. Yeah. And then it's good. So if instead black plays on knight f2, one more this thing. Ooh, knight f2. Yeah. And then you have bishop takes h7 there. Oh, beautiful. Because king takes h7 not possible. You have to go king. Then you leave the king. King h8. So king h8. And then you can take two and then bishop e2. And this is better for white. This is better for white. So uh, the I, exact details will be in the course, uh, uh, and I am also not uh, using a computer right now. But uh, in let's go to other different models so that uh, mm, sure. knight e4 is not always possible. For instance, if black started with h6 before, ah, uh, in this entire line, if we started off with the in insertion, with H6, like at some point, yeah, knight bd7 at any point h6 bishop h4. Let's say c6 rook c1 knight bd7 bishop d2. Let's play out the same mistakes to b5, bishop, bishop, guard, b3, bishop, b7, pass a6, a7. Yeah. And b4. Now, knight e4 is not so good because there is no bishop takes at 7 Ah. Uh -huh. What a deep Small point. Small nuances. Yeah. So now you just take one f6. Knight f6, knight e4. Now, knight e4. Yes. It's very hard for black to play this kind of position. I recently played a game um, in uh, indoor, I think, against the Roshan, where uh, in a very similar position. Uh, so what happens is uh, you cannot take on e4 because I take an c6 will hand. And if not, then I am going to play knight uh, to c5. And uh, after black takes on c5, I'll take back and the bishop on b7 is there. Right. This game which you just quoted, Rosh Jain, can we quickly have a look at it because you have attached yeah. it in the database. So just so that yeah, yeah. Uh, we can see that point, which, and maybe we can go through it. So he's a talented young player, uh, mm -hmm. Rosh, and he was playing with the black pieces. You went here. This happened like 10th of January, 24. So clearly it is very recent. Indian, you are following your own recommendations. Uh, C6. Rook c1, castles, bishop d3, he played a6, he played a4, he took, took, b5, you went back. It transposed. Oh, it transposed. And now you took. Important, which yes. you mentioned, because h6 is played. In this exact position, knight e4 is also possible, but yeah, I just uh, went to what I need. And we reached what we, we were discussing, right? Yes. Now. Okay. So he went rook c8, you put your knight here, fine, he took. Oh, you took with the pawn. Yeah. Oh, right. Because if I take with the rook, then he's just going to play knight d7 and c5. Ah. It's very important not to allow this break. Nice. You are, you are so... Basically, I'm now playing with an extra piece. Yeah, I know, Indian, you are so flexible in that sense, in your thinking. Because, you know, a positional player generally wants to keep, like, pressure here. But dc5 is such a strong positional idea. Just, yes. just making the bishop it. completely dead. Queen c7, e4. Ooh, queen e1, nice. Because now you attack here and you want to push e5, I believe. e5, yes, exactly. Nice. It's a double game. I mean, he d he does get back his pawn, but the remaining but pieces yeah, are just terrible. forward a bit more, more then you will see the bishop. Here. Oof. Brutal, yes. Again, again, another pawn comes in to stop that.
and you won wow this this is the image which people can have in their mind when they are playing this line as both colors yes what not to get with black and what to aim for white yeah. when i said that in this ptd black's main problem is the light squared bishop this is what i mean like often times you're not able to get it out and then you're in trouble beautiful okay let's go back to our analysis uh, here that that we were doing uh, and and then uh, okay so this is the orthodox classical black yes. has found some new ways to play for instance uh, uh, let's say c6 rook c1 knight b7 and bishop b3 then you take a and then b5 bishop uh, bishop b3 the older line was a6 directly trying to get c5 and then you play a4 and it was also played in the fisher's fast game uh there in the match but then okay bishop bishan has recently been the plan castle and then rook c8 uh huh he's trying to do without a a6 he's trying to go b4 and c5 right and then here we go for a3 with the idea of b4 b4 uh huh so a5 may be logical yeah a5 is very logical and then we go knight c5 Yeah. Indian, this is somewhere you've played a game, yes? Here, I played it online, not uh, in person, but uh, ah, okay. Yeah, with Dimitri Colors. Yes, yes. So a five. What should white black white do here? Knight e five. Ah, knight e five. So I'm just gonna keep uh, putting up more and more pressure on the position. Now a simple threat would be, for instance, that I can take on d7, take on e7, and then once the dark square bishop is gone, I can play my e4 and c. So black has to be very, very fast. He has to take on e5, take it, and then okay, the theory goes on after this. But uh, computers will uh, show 0.0, but it's not easy to play it. Yeah. You've you gone, you've gone deeper and... into it. Yes. Okay, brilliant. You know, Indian. Whenever you put your knight on e5, it reminds me of your game in the World Cup. Uh, was it against Tomaszewski, or? Ah uh, no, uh, Bogner. Uh, Bogner, that. Sebastian Bogner. What a game that, that was. Game. Yes. Okay. So this covers. So that. I think we covered the Orthodox classical, uh, the Lasker, and the Tata Power. Yeah. But then we have the new modern kind of variations that Black plays, which is like systems with c5 directly. You mean? It has to do without like knight knight f six bishop b five. Yeah. Ah, uh, bishop e seven in three castle. With or without h six. Okay, let's say with h six bishop h two, and then knight b d seven and c five. Oh, this is what Kramnik likes to play, if I'm not mistaken, right? It black, yeah, yeah, this kind of position. Ah. Uh, And okay, there are a few different ways for white to play. I have had good games recently in both kind of editions. You either take on c5 first. Take here, okay. Yes, and then if he takes on c4, mm -hmm. you play c6, and they take, and you take on c4. Now black has uh, an isolated pawn, and then you keep playing. This is in fact my game against Venkatesh uh, from the national senior. From. National Senior Championship last year. Ah, Indian versus Venkatesh. Okay, so people can check out this game here that Indian has yes. played. Okay, and if they take it here, it is like the. I think it's one of my most fantastic wins. It, uh, it one of your most fantastic grinds, huh? Yeah. No, it it was mate. Mate. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, is like the sacrifice and sacrifice. Wow. Okay, I would love to see it. At some... should we check it quickly? Yeah, very quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at it very quickly. Uh, because you know, Indians uh, attacking games always a pleasure to look at. So here, and also it helps us to refresh our move orders. Yes. Night. Started with Ninja, but transposed. Took took c six. Okay, this is good. He brings his knight, so you trade the bishops. Castles. He goes bishop b7. All this position is just slightly better for us. You have to play slowly into the position. Yeah, this looks fine. H3, just a waiting move, yes. Just into him, yeah. No future back end. Kicking the queen away. Knight e4. Suddenly the knight is looking at this square. Is coming to d6. So he went c5. 
you jumped in. I am feeling that a stack on f7 is coming soon. Somewhere. e4, knight f4, queen e3, knight goes back. Oh my god, this is come, okay. Take rook d6, attacking the bishop and the pawn. Bishop b5 takes, king e7, take on d7. Uh -huh. So if rook d7 here, uh, I'm, just take on g6. Just take this on. guy and you are winning. So he has to take on d6 now. Yes. Check. If king c7, I guess queen c5 if should it be. It is going to be, yeah, just queen c7. So here, here, here. This is a brilliant scene. Whoa, what a move. I, I guess it must not be easy to find this one. Yes, rook d6. No, uh, it's kind of the only move, I think, if I remember well. Uh, the main point is that I'm a rook down. But I shouldn't allow his queen to come back into the game. So when I play rook d6, I'm stopping queen d6. No more defense. What a game. Okay. 97. Check. And then yeah. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> so these two moves by the rook just come. Oh, what a game, man. Rook at 6. So he took. Check. What a game. Yeah, Indian. This is just yeah. epic. Would you would you call it your one of your best attacking games? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, uh, when I was playing the game, uh, computer showed plus minus in several different ways, but during the game, you're never sure after you're going to be able to. And then when I played Rook B6, it was like very nice, you know, just playing a quiet move, improving the position. Yeah. What did your opponent tell you after this game? Did he Did he say that you played well? Yeah, yeah, of course, I was impressed by this. And uh, he missed some tactic before, which is why he got on this position. Yes. But yeah, uh, he, a lot of moves for me are only moves here. Mm. And uh, I think it's a very good attack. Beautiful. Okay. So that even in QGD, we have like, we have chances to win. It's not uh, dead open. Right. Okay, so D takes C5. If he takes on C4, mm -hmm. we just saw this game with C6. Yeah. And if he takes... And instead, if he takes on... And then we just take on uh, D5. D5. And he has to play G5, otherwise he will lose a pawn. Uh -huh. And then we shall be... And then we have a slightly better position. Because uh, of how does he lose a pawn? Ah, because if this... Is he... Knight D5, no? I take on D5 now. Just directly? Yes, I thought you could also take, take, and take. No, but then you take, take, and then I think there is some kind of... Uh, queen f5 check, huh? Queen f5 before is there. Uh, ah, I'm not so quite before. sure. Maybe this also... Yeah, but it, it, uh, yeah, it, it, it is very possible. I think, yeah. But direct knight d5 is a simple. You exchange me. You shut me 7, queen e7, queen If d5. queen e7, queen d5. If knight e7, then just... And then exchange the queen and rook c5. Take, take and take here. Okay, brilliant. Mm-hmm. So you have to play g5 and then it's slightly good for him. Ah, g5 and then bishop g3. And then bishop g3, but you see that black king side is weak. Okay. And then in long term, white will have it. Got it. I had one question, Indian, and this is something yes. which I might, uh, I have also faced here is the move c5. Yes, Tarash. Tarash is it's a very complicated opening. Especially in recent times, a lot of people have played the... And you know, we have this relation called the boss Farage. And yes, yes, things. it's so drawish. So, it's so drawish, yeah. So, let's say CD4, uh, yeah, which is the main one. CD4 is not so good for the black. Yeah. We this just is... play Queen A4, and then... Ah, you first give it. first start with check. I mean, we can also take on D4, but I I like Queen A4, and then you take on then you take the pawn. The and then you play. And pawn. black has some play, but uh, we will be able to consolidate. It. Right. Uh, Ed five, knight f three. Generally, black starts with knight c six, yeah, because if we go with knight f six, then white has the option of bishop g five. Mm -hmm. So black starts with knight c six, and uh, the traditional main line goes uh, g three. Yeah. But then uh, variations like g three, let's say knight f six, we shall be able to. In olden times, black just used to play bishop e7, castle, castle, white have a title that is variation. Lot of different moves, bishop g5 or d takes c5, white have. But these days, people play c takes d4. 
Mm. And bishop c5. And then bishop c5, yes. This is a pure gambit line uh, aimed at uh, exchanging everything and then getting a brown to this. Black will have zero chances to win here. Yes. Something uh, like this. Uh, it's becoming very popular. Yeah. Tubo, becoming very Tubo popular. has yes. popularized Tubo. it. But uh, this is this is something that I wanted to avoid. Because everybody plays theory these days and uh, if Black is just okay to take a draw, uh, we don't give them this chance. So D takes E5 is uh, even interesting. Yeah. It's been played a bit these days and it's quite interesting. We get dynamic at uh, Black plays D4. Yes. Knight A4. Bishop C5, Knight C5. Check. Queen A5 check for Bishop D2. He will take back. And then, but at least now you see that White has a pair of bishops. Mm. And Black has an isolated pawn in return for space. So there is dynamism and there is no force clause in this kind of place. Mm. So this is what we are aiming for. And then the game continues after B4 and then we, the theory goes on, which is in the course. This is but, this uh, is the direction which you have given. Very interesting. Some yes. new territory to explore. It's not as popular as the mainland, but yeah, uh, it is also an established line. Beautiful. So okay. Tarash is done, but there are also a lot, lot more moves. Like for instance, what if he plays A6? So it is becoming very popular. Yes, I would generally think that I'll just take, take and then continue like this and I'll just play e3, yes. knight f3, but maybe there's something better that white can do. Uh, it's not about better, like uh, uh, a lot of systems with bishop f4, e3, bd3, knight f3 are very good for white. Mm. Slightly better position. I have also played that. But uh, for something concrete, I wanted to give queen b3. Queen b3, attacking d5 directly. Attacking d5, yeah. There are like four main moves for black, c6, c5, or knight f6. Or interestingly, Bishop D6. Whoa, what? Bishop D6. Really? Warmadam gave this in his post on black side. And people started picking it up. Wow. Like you're attacking it twice, and instead of defending it, he's just taking away the one defense he has. I think uh -huh. he's just wanting to go Bishop E6, yeah, at some point. Like if I take yeah. here Bishop E6. He's, yes. And uh, if you take to the Queen, he's gonna go Knight of 6, and he's just trying to gain tempos. Uh -huh. But uh, I think queen b3 is a very critical try, and we can uh, we can try for at least a very pleasant position. If he goes for c6, let's say, white has a very interesting idea. E4, e4. takes bishop c4, I believe. Bishop yes? c4. Uh -huh. yes. And wow. then you play knight e2, knight g3, attack the pawn, and then. Uh, very cool. Okay. It also goes to see how thoroughly you have covered this because a6 is kind of a sideline in which you have recommended queen b3 and then you go on to cover all the options there. Yes. Beautiful. Amazing. And, uh, I didn't want to make this a standalone course for QGD, not just Bishop G5. And someone and could The other go... option is triangle slab. Yeah, ah. Bishop b4 is possible. Just you play a3 and force him. The point being, a point of a3 is that instead you could play knight f6 this kind of thing. But then if he plays knight f6, hmm. he transfers into Ragozin, which is a whole another opening, which is not possible to cover in one course. Yes. So I was like, this has to be a, a special QVD course. And a3 is a very strong move by itself. But this so is an idea have... for next course, yeah? How what to play with white here for Ragozin? Yes, because... Ragozin, yes, <laughs> Ragozin is good. We have to find something. It's one of Black's best openings. Mm -hmm. So A3, you take one C3, you take one C3. And then uh, Black recently had this idea of playing, okay, let's say Knight has a normal move. And then I'll take on D5 first. E D5, E3. So normally Black tries to avoid this in the New Zealand game, which we know. Like if you try the Spanish system or something, Black will take on C4 the moment he has a chance. Mm -hmm. To not be fixed with the pawn on D5. And if instead of this, if Black goes with C6 first, which is like another variation. It takes takes on c6, you go a4. a4. Just a opening idea. up the bishop here, yes? Right. So knight f6 is no longer possible. And if you go knight e7, the knight is not several place. So okay. this is against the bishop b4. I mean, the variations are still there, which is mentioned in the course. But, yeah, sure. Uh, this is the main direction. c6. This is, this I have uh, faced many times uh, before mm -hmm. and the problem was that if I went knight f3, 
apart from it going into sort of uh, semi sla i mean knight f6 yeah. territory there yeah. is also dc4 yes node boom node boom which, which is, is very very, very sharp uh, bishop b4 business yeah, bishop b4 with... you play e3 b5 bishop b2 yes oh, blind, blind. it's very very but, uh, essentially the game starts at move number 12 uh, move number 15 ar- around move yes. 15 and then, <laughs> then it's lot of fail uh so, so you recommended e4 you can play e3 for instance you can play e3 for instance okay but then but he might go f5 the of the course f5 is possible or even knight f6 you can no longer play bishop g5 yes what about the bishop yeah, this true. whole course is based on getting the bishop out of the pawn chain so that's why i wanted to suggest e4 one of the most sharp area and you take on e4 knight e4 if you play normal chess i'll be good but bishop b4 then you go bishop b2 I mean, he cannot take on d2. White is just gonna be better after queen d2. So takes on d4. Bishop takes d4. Queen takes c4 and bishop e2. Black has one of pawn. Uh, white has the pair of bishops. Uh, the dark pair bishop is cutting off Black's way to castle. You've covered this, by the um, way, Indian, in your yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is this big. is insane. Yeah, this is such a big line. Yeah, it is. It is very complicated. Yeah. Okay, I am very interested to just know one more thing. After knight a six, have you recommended bishop here? Here, what move? Uh, bishop a five. Oh, there. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I will. There are few different modes for black. Uh, and I think in uh, different positions, different moves uh, come around. Um, I think for. In this particular position, against knight a six, yeah, bishop a five is what I recommend. The point being that I am forcing black to play b six and then come back, and then come back, so that there is a more weakness. Like at some point, I'll get bishop f three or queen b six, hitting the pawn on c six. Okay, it's very sharp line, yeah. Like general. very sharp line. And I, I thought you might just take some side side line like knight c three and say, okay, I will. I will knight c three is. It's also quite good. I mean, it's it's a very good line. You got the space and you just come back. Uh-huh. But uh, Bishop B2, I thought was more in the spirit of the position. Uh, in frigidity, in the course that we see, uh, we don't shy away from the exchange of dark squared bishops often. Mm. Our whole point is that our light squared bishop is better than black squared bishop. So if he takes on D2, it's fine. Right. This is just better for for us. Yeah, yeah. better. For us. Okay, maybe this sort of covers almost everything that you've done. Yes, in this uh, course, yes. because I yes. had uh, this entire course of content that you have. Like, if you see here, um, we have three bishop b4, three bishop e7, tarash, side line, c6 sidelines, then a6, then fourth move alternatives, then you cover. Uh, all this which we discussed the orthodox the lasker the tartak over and then you have also some pawn structures that you discuss towards the end yes so i okay qgd is more about playing a slightly better position yeah. like very slightly pleasant position and it often comes down to how you handle the pawn structures often times white gets the isolated pawn sometimes black gets the isolated pawn uh, sometimes black has the hanging pawns and how you handle these kind of pawn structures is what uh, is going to get you points so i did want to mention all the possible pawn structures like kalspa structure is a very important one for instance so iqp how you play iqp is important i did want to uh, give the readers who are uh, viewing this uh, the whole uh, the whole idea of how to play this not just the opening part but how to continue in the middle game okay beautiful that's very nice and in the end there's also a repertoire training before we end this indian uh, i would love to for our viewers to see one more game which one would you say we should see while uh, we end this mm, okay so we have seen your game with uh, rosh jain with venkatesh yes and venkatesh yeah yes okay let's uh, look at the game against uh, a very quick game yeah against uh, Sanchez Lopez. It, it, it's not a very high-rated player. He is a 20-100 from Spain, but it's a fun game, and uh, it shows that uh, KGD also has topics. Okay, let's. Uh, so this time I won't rush into it. I will wait for you to tell me at some point if there are any points where I should pause. Uh, so yes. 
It's okay, so we go. You should do I and then next. By the way, in this position, if it takes here. Yeah, it's a it's a completely different opening. It's a new slot. But, but we could reach here, game, right? Uh, in uh, in our repertoire, we never get this position. Ah, we cannot. How? Because if we go. Because in this game, I started with two knight f three. Oh right. Uh, yeah. In normal repertoire, we will start with uh, let's say c four, e six, knight c three, and if we played c six, they had e four, yeah. Directly, but now e four or e three. If we started with c six, then we had e four, and in this model, we have e. Right here we have e4, and if he goes knight, and knight f6, f6 knight uh, bishop g5 c6, and then we have e3. Ah. And without playing c6, if we take on c4, it's not nice. Not Got it. We can play e3 or e4, both are good for that. Okay. So knight. Anyway, we transpose here. We transpose in this. Should e3. He takes takes. This is what we saw. Yes. We should play. Castles e6, and we remember he is threatening c5, so we hit. So we play. And now just in the position. Now is like a key moment. Uh, because knight e5 in this kind of position often is a very good idea. It creates some sort of chaos in the position because we cannot really take on e5. I'm threatening to take on d7 or f6 uh, uh, in different new orders. And how to do it. Mm. Okay, next. No. Hello. 95. No, it's there. And we are already getting, having some tactical idea in this um, He cannot time. take here because e7 is under pressure. Yes. And so he, he cannot take on e5 because I take back and then everything is hanging in the position. Yes. So here, and if you see that he can never play c5 before this also, always yeah. the light squared bishop is dominated, which is the key point of this property. Okay, so next thing, you know, mm -hmm. there are a lot of different, but here now you are losing why. a piece, yes, but not exactly. Ah, you can even play bishop h4, yes, to stop, yes. But if I play bishop h4, for instance, he's gonna play knight g6, yeah, and then I have to take, he will take back, and then come kind of consolidate. And yeah, black is okay. So here you went just on the attack. Yes, I went. Beautiful. Okay. F7. F7. And I think Indian, you really love F7 point. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's nice place. <laughs> you go there. Okay, knight g6. And now white to play. Yes, people can think yes, of it. White to play. Okay. Indian played this amazing knight f7. Fg because king f7 queen h7. Queen, queen. So take you take on g6. <laughs> and all these games, the thing is this bishop sort of never plays a role. Yes. Love it. Brilliant. Uh Indian, this was just uh amazing. Uh the thing that you've you. done uh here. Uh I believe that people can get this and get an insight into how to play with white with one d4 against queen's gambit declined and this yeah. can also help them improve their understanding overall of chess not just of the openings yes yes because you have a lot of ideas and conceptual and everything is important hmm. any final words indian from you mm. playing uh this QGD with white pieces has been a difficult thing because it's very solid. But uh, Bishop G5 system has helped me a lot. And you know, recently a lot of people play exchange QGD. It's become the staple system for white. But if everyone plays the exchange QGD, then it's not unique anymore. Black starts to prepare for it. And then uh, black people know what to do. Mm -hmm. So Bishop G5 system is uh, it's not so popular right now, but it's one of the best. And uh, and if you know this well, you can get a lot of points. Because, see, not a lot of uh, players who are playing black side are, are exposed to the system of bishop g5. And they might make mistakes strategically and then end up with a dead bishop on a uh, dead right squared bishop. Or you can, uh, or you will be able to create a mating attack on the king side. 
these black scatterings. So everything is possible in uh, in the system with Bishop G5, slow positional games or attacking games. And everywhere uh, in this course, there is no easy way for black to equalize. If black has to equalize completely, it will take a lot of moves. Either uh, it has to be a very computerish equality of being a pawn down, or he has to know a theory for like 20, 20 moves, 25 moves. So I think studying this course will uh, will help you in a lot of ways to get uh, get a lot of points. And it's a very practical course. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to remember a lot of moves with white. If you go to the game and you're like, oh, I forgot what to do in this particular position, then you can just make logical moves and it's going to work. That mm -hmm. is the way that I designed this course. Today. Wonderful. Thank you, Indian, once again for your time and for taking out time to do this. All the best for your mm -hmm. next tournaments that you will play. Thank you. Where will we see you in action next? Uh, I think uh, Dubai and Sharjah, but I'm not quite sure. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good luck and uh, thank you once again. Thank See you. you. Bye. Thank you. For